Welcome back to a new and what should be the final episode of Mafia Definitive Edition. Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. That's encouraging. So what, we got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Really selling it to me. Packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We got to play this one cool. So we're going to steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Kill the poor bastard driver. No, we'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing. We're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right. Usually a good strategy. Yeah. for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. That probably would be helpful. Come on, let's go. I don't need you getting drunk and accidentally shooting me. Okay, we're gonna cut scene our way there instead of making me drive. Not complaining. Would you relax? You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I had to figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. Yeah, big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. 
Well, then we don't tell him. Oh, yeah, that's going to go over well. You want to step out on the done? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. So be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. And if he get caught, then he'll be mad. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri, when he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes, me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don or let it go. Just get the daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Okay, so we need... Find a customs truck. Am I supposed to go like with them? Because I thought they were doing something else. Our trucks over here. I see shadows. But I can't. Oh, what's actually over here? No, I'll just oh. Okay, what's this? Hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's just right down the 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 block here. I don't know what all these lines are, but it always confuses me. I was like this black line or is that blue? That's blue. There's these dotted lines. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Always confuses me though when I look at the map. Okay, is there anyone? I don't see anyone. Take this to Sam and Polly. You got the invitation. You got the outfit. Now what's missing? A book with a piece to resist all. The handbag. Marriager's women's department has a vast range of styles to suit their particular taste, including pieces imported from Italy, France, and Great Britain. 
They um they got real far away real quick. Okay, it's gonna be, uh... Why is that? Okay, because I'm on the sidewalk, yes. <laughs> um, not sure how I got on the sidewalk. But that explains why there's a car park there. Well, I wonder how long I was actually driving to the sidewalk for. It's really gonna be right up here around the corner. Park up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. People right in the back. Man, I'm probably gonna have to shoot people. I'm sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Well, 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 well. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is? Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. I doubt that. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? No. The trash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. Nice. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. What kind of time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. I'll wait here. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. Okay, I thought they were going to use their cover as customs agents to go in and find them. Apparently not. Apparently that's my job. Okay, what is that? Is he... Okay, I see. Sort of. Okay, I see. Okay, so I'm supposed to, yeah, go up. So he's fine, I don't need to do anything with that guy down there.
Oh god, we gotta go over there. There's a guy there. It's a got guys working overtime tonight. I gotta get over there, but how? Needle in a haystack ain't even the fucking word. Just look for something, anything out of place. Where are we gonna get through all these crates? Not even in a week. So you get paid for a week. Quit complaining. What's well, the best way to get around? Oh, what was that? That light was weird there. So what's the best way to get down and sneak by that guy? Think over here. It didn't have anything on that guy. Oh, come on. So yeah, it didn't have anything on those guys. But maybe it's because I was supposed to go a different way. Yeah, so... Fancy got guys working overtime tonight. I thought those guys were like fine or something because like it didn't have the, the the mark over their head like this guy has. So if he goes back over there, we'll get down. We'll take him out. When he comes back over, but we need him to go away first. Okay, he's moving away. Come on, come back over here, buddy. It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, I think we're okay, actually. Like, where, where'd that guy come from? Feds have got guys working overtime tonight. Okay, um, I wanted him to crouch and steady ran. That was my bad. I hit the wrong button. He's like found him like he was looking for me. Yes, I actually think he was. Yeah, crouch. He just kind of stands up a little bit more. I'm moving. 
Uh, so I think there was no need to do that. So not all these guys have things on them that you need to be watching out for. Night, night. <laughs> kind of annoying. And I can't see. Howie, I took a cigar crate out of the warehouse. I hope a bunch... I have a hunch some of the Cameroons we impounded when the Bohemia docked might be hiding what we're looking for. When you come in, get into the warehouse and check the rest of the boxes. See you in the morning. Good luck. Huh. This will help. Oh, there's a guy up there. Okay. I kind of want to go take that guy out. I don't know if I'm supposed to come up here, but I'm going to. Oh, hey, there's more people down there. Come on, fellas, let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Okay, he went back in there, but... We're gonna take him out anyways. Night, night! If we were gonna be smart here, I'm gonna read this in a second. If we were gonna be smart here, we would actually put one of the guards' uniforms on and pretend to be a guard but I guess that would be too easy Empire Bay dream rum untax storage 41 or storage a1 the Nelly unknown machinery storage b2 the Bohemia cigars untax storage d2 forget me not Obscene materials, storage A2, C2, and B1. Havana King, rum, untaxed, storage D1. Interesting. Okay, I do not like that music. Is he below us? I think he's below us. I hear footsteps, though. None of this is any use. Nazi demands met in Munich. Adolf Hitler, Führer of Germany, was today granted the right to annex the Sudeten area of Czechoslovakia in an agreement made in Munich, Italian, British, and French. Made in Italian, British, and French leaders were signatories to the accord with occupation expected to be complete 
Within 10 days, British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain described the agreement as peace in our time. The Czechoslovak government was not in attendance and expected any agreement to be at the expense of their nation. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need anything, any more information, I, I think. I don't think. So where are we going? Found him! Oh! Come on. What am I supposed to do there when he's looking right at me? I mean, I got okay, I guess I'll probably turn away, but I couldn't even see that he was there. Oh, come on, that's a horrible checkpoint. Now I gotta go all the way back up here. Discover that thing. Come on, fellas. Speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Good. Boy, these fades are assholes. Found him! <laughs> Man. I should have been more patient. I just want to move on to the next part of this. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. It's good. Boy, these feds are assholes. Must have been through a hundred maxes already. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know if it would like let us close it. I didn't know if that was like a thing. If somebody else came along and saw it. I'm not going back into all these rooms again. I already know what's in there. So there's two guys in here. This guy, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then where's the other one? Oh, is he over? Hmm? I see run on the mini map, but I don't see anyone. Okay, yeah, he's right there. Coming this way. How do you see me? Okay. Oh, geez, that guy's right there. Come on. Come on, come on. Night night. Let's get to a checkpoint here. Hopefully this will be it. Oh geez. Place is huge. Okay, boys. Check each crate, then we'll start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Yeah, then lucky you. Have an all night to search them. Ship vehicle, the Bohemia ship, cargo, cigars, and tobacco products. Former destination, Atlantic Imports, Export Company, Holbrook. Reason for impound. Harbor master suspicion, untaxed goods. Date of arrival, September 23rd, 1938. Warehouse storage area, D2. Huh. This will help. We already knew. We already knew they were in detail. Is he coming over here? I don't think so. He's apparently deaf. That sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. Night night. Okay. So I think that's all of the guards. Maybe. There's more 
people, but those are, I think, workers. So I guess we're supposed to go through all these. Nothing in here. Ah, jeez, give me a break. Found them. Okay, return to Sam and Polly. Okay. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. Please. the last of them let's dangle i'm not riding in the back again you're a better wheelman anyway just don't drive us into the bay shit you hear that okay tom got it let's go let's go jesus tom it ain't comfortable back here huh through the gate Oh, come on. Every cop in town's going to be on their way. So let's get out of sight fast as you can, Tom. This thing handles like crap. Road's closed up ahead. Find another way. If we get seen, they'll race hell. Won't be that way. I mean, that was the easy way out, so of course it wasn't going to be that easy. Let's go left. Checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy. I think there's another one right here. Can we go this way? Gonna hurt someone. Can I see on the map here anything? Okay. Now, so this is perfect. We go left and we go right. Yeah, so we're gonna go this way. I mean, maybe looking at the map is cheating, but if they give me the option to look at the map, it's not really cheating, is it? Anyone seen the truck? Call in with news, fellas. And we are almost out of the... Oh, Jesus, one more. There wasn't when I looked at the map. Just go down and take a lot.
Another checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy. Anyone seen the truck? Call in with you. Here they come! Ah, crap! Oh crap, they're right up there. I'm just going around in circles here. Oh. Too busy looking at the mini map. Oh. Crap. We're gonna get spotted. Or not. Well, yes, we are. Oh, here we are. Unless we can. That's not a road. It looked like a road on the mini map. Oh, are they going to come down here? I think they are. There's nowhere to go. If we can cut over left... Oh no, there's a cop there now. I don't only have much of a Road's closed up ahead! Find another way. If we get seen, they'll race hell. Okay, there's a blue thing there on the map. Like there's a cop there, but I guess there isn't. We're almost out. We can just find a road off to the left here. That'd be perfect. There's one there, but... We can't use that. I'm just supposed to blow through one of these to get out. They always just magically put checkpoints right where I'm at. They're not there until you get there. Yeah, see, now there's a checkpoint there. There wasn't one there before. But now there isn't one back there. But I guarantee you, if I go back there, there'll be a checkpoint there. But there's a cop there now. I'm just going around in circles. That's all this video is, is me just driving around in circles. This is a bad idea. Anyone seen the truck? Call in with you, fellas. Okay, they didn't see me.
Something up there. Shit. Another roadblock. Find a way around. And now there's a roadblock Shit. up there. Another roadblock. Find a way around. I mean, there is no way around because they just put them up wherever. They, they just surround you with them. The only way around is through them. There's literally no way around them. I want to turn there. Up on the roadblock. How many cops they got out here? Gotta take a different route. was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time? Well, next time what? We run it all through you? As scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds. The boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight. Yeah, I mean, that was really hard. Anytime you found, like, a way out, they just, they, they'd block it. I didn't think you could actually get out for a minute. I mean, any way I tried, it got blocked. But no, I figured what was going to happen is when we left, because they put me in the back, I was going to have to shoot people again, like, the, um, trip to the country mission. That's what I thought was going to end up having to happen. We got, what, four bo or uh, six boxes back there? I only looked in one of them. Oh, geez. What's with you today, Tom? This thing doesn't stop. That's what's with me.
Oh. You turned in front of me. Okay, and we are here now. I remember this place. Hey, Polly! You okay? Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit, though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. I don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not gonna find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? Any problems. Oh, got a little banged up, Izzo. All right? Oh, doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Oh, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say? Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Near North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. Okay, so let's walk with Polly here to the train station. So yeah, that mission wasn't terrible, except the driving part. I'd much rather stealth a mission than guns blazing. Definitely thought we were going to have to go guns blazing on the way out of there. But just that driving part was a little annoying, because it's like, anytime I found an out, they covered it. Like, I really did not know how I was going to be able to get out of there for a while.
got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Bobby. If you're six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, I'm trying to keep some shit in my pants. Fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. Chapter complete. Just for relaxation, that was not relaxing. Moonlighting, 1938. Plan stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the map. We've been here before. So we went to get the Stone stuff work. from Frank. The books. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on him. So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. For the cop show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault? Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. How do I? We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight, right? No heroes. Not today. No kidding around. You saw God that? Okay. With me, down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy? It's making me feel rich, and the little guy gets to walk away. Come on. If he doesn't do anything hey, stupid. Quit moving. 
You're making me nervous. When I get nervous, my trigger finger gets shaky. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you Once tell him to stand down. It's body. all on don't you. Not long to Are you coming? Okay, we're going the, down here. Okay, this makes sense. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Go on. Keep moving. You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You, you want to see your daughter you. graduate from high school. You keep your hands where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your... Ah, oh, shit! Boy. Ah! Shoot him! has to die. I don't have to die! Okay, I guess I don't need health. Yeah, I reacted really quick to that. I was, like, prepared for that. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ah, oh, crap. The cops are here. Let's go. Get the money. It's time to go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, a shotgun's not really long range. I am taking all kinds of damage right now. I thought I shot you. Okay, you're down. You're down. I got him. You're down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess that was there for this, not before. That makes a little bit more sense. I need some guns and ammo. Yeah, I'd rather have the Tommy gun here. Everyone from the station! Everyone! And 
Come on, get in. Go, go, go! Where? Just waiting for Anywhere. you. Just lose the cops. They got a new guy giving back up. Pedal to the metal. Come on. Yeah, ah. Don't him, boys. He's outside city limits. Continue pursuit. He's out of sight. I know there's a lot of ground to cover out there, but keep looking. Come on. Keep the pedal down. Watch that mini map. Club. Sam's Club. Hey, it's empty right now. But he don't know, can't hurt him. Yeah, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be a nightmare trying to get out of there. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Not trying to shoot this poor guy on his motorcycle. I mean, that was, I mean, once we got in the car, it was just, just get distance. I mean, we didn't really have to, other than the, down by the vault, we didn't have to shoot our way out of there at all. So that was nice. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Polly. All right. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. And we're gonna go right. And we're gonna take a left, and we are there. Sake. 
sure. Ah! Oh. We gotta go. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Watch him just actually leave and give us nothing. <laughs> chapter complete. That was actually a short chapter compared to the last one. So this, I believe, is going to be the last one. This uh, one here. The Death of Art, 1938. Should be the last chapter. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? Just feeling lucky is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. If it was an honest you're moving. buck. Even when you're standing still. If yeah, you earned it possible. honestly, then you could spend that, well, but you, don't even know why you didn't earn it honestly. Well, that must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Oh, so is this... Okay, so this is the house. You still here? Oh. Can we not go fit through there? Okay, we can. Before he became a taxi driver, Tommy worked on a road crew. He lived... He lived in camps for a month at a time, building highways through the northern United States. Tommy eventually tried. Tommy eventually tired of the itinerant life and moved back to Lost Heaven in 1926, using the money he had saved to buy himself a cab. Why is that on his taxi license? So is that what the front door? I've already seen the front of the house. Tommy and his family arrived in Empire Bay after a month at sea on Christmas Day 1904. After an inspection by immigration officials, they traveled on to Lost Heaven in a crowded chain in a crowded train carriage. Tommy's father found employment at Lost Heaven Harbor where he worked until his death 15 years later. Sicily, 1904, four years old, four-year-old Tommy with his family at the Valari Lennon Grove near the port of Messino. Tommy's father was the Supervisor at the plantation until it was foreclosed by a moneylender evicted from their home and destitute 
The Angelos immigrated to America soon afterwards. Oh. Okay. Didn't know you could break the lamp. That that's that's a nice touch. Three of a kind. If you keep hanging around, you're gonna end up packing bags with me. Okay, so that's the backyard. Bank raid, suspects at large. Oh, that totally wasn't us. Bank raid. Bystander photograph shows an officer surrounding the Grand Imperial Bank. The Lost Heaven Police Department are appealing for information relating to a violent robbery that took place yesterday in downtown Lost Haven. The thieves... Lost Heaven. The thieves, who left many dead, are said to have taken an enormous haul. They remain unidentified and on the loose... Witnesses are encouraged to contact LHPD in person or by telephone on LH-2762. What was that? Did someone scream? Oh, okay, we can't go upstairs, so we might as well leave now. Oh, wait, no, we gotta look, check the garage here, see if there's anything in here. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go meet Polly at his apartment. And hopefully he hasn't run off with all the money. Okay, we are here. Oh, I remember this. We had to bring him home once before. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, hey, you had a ruckus last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. I have a feeling that's going to be Polly, and it's probably not good. Yup, that's going to be Polly. His door's open. Polly. That's never good. How much we want to bet the Don found out and killed him. Skull. Oh God! I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the yep. job. Called it. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, 
Okay. I, I, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Is there anything up here? There is. I probably missed a ton of those, but I don't really care. I wasn't trying to get everything in this game. I was more just trying to play it and enjoy the story. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. So let's go meet Sam at the uh, art gallery. And we are here. They just like hold around me. Usually cars will just stop. Sam betrayed us. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Apollis. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. He's just looking out for Don himself. Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore. The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye.
Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Oh yeah, you're a real great buddy, all right. I didn't know they had Molotovs. How many of them are there? Because there was like at least three. I took one out. So I guess I'm a little confused too as to how many guys there are. Got you. I see one here on the mini map. Where'd you go, Sim? Is there any health? Cause like the fire caught me, and then I was an idiot and ran out of cover. I don't see any. Okay, okay. They're just me and Sam business now. Is business, Tom. I know that you out of all of them know that. No more of your friends have to die today, Tom. Right. Over no here. one but you. Put him to sleep. I'll miss our talks back in the bar. Ah, I won't. So righteous fuck. When you fuck with the boss, you fuck with us all. You're a good guy, Tom. Real good guy. It's a shame. How? Who's hitting me? It's like there's somebody over there, but there's not. At least not on the mini-map. Whenever I look, there's no one. Got you. Is that explosive? Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I, I mean, it's when you run out of bullets, you can't really do anything. Uh, do I have another gun on me, though? I doubt it. I didn't know there was a guy over there, though. Yeah, I only got the one. 
our talks back at the bar. I won't. Self-righteous fuck. Got you. you fuck with us all. This your first time with a heater? Firing. Warming him up. Uh, he's dead. Ah, move, move. What? Well, I mean, <laughs> taking fire from both sides. Uh, there's no way to, I mean, survive that. Yeah, I got no. Explosives or anything. Oh, I see you. Can I just like Put me. I'm gonna die because, like, no bullets. I mean, I can't shoot air at him. Hey, didn't I get you in the head? Thank you. Helps if I use the right buttons. I thought I killed you. Right there. Oh, come on, pop your head up again. Come on. Really? There you go.
Okay, we got some health. Say good night, punk. You say good night. There's a guy over here. people haha <laughs> there's some health over there Got you. Hide down and take what's coming for. Save me some time. There's some on there. Come on. Where do you get all these guys from? That's what I want to know. Okay, now we are, um, yeah, it's safer back here. Where are they? Does he not have anyone in here? He said to take him out. Yet. 
Could really use some health, I'm not gonna lie. Guy still over there. See him. Celieri was ripping us off. I'm ripping you off, maybe. Me? I play these things smart. How many shots is it going to take? I'm hitting him! And that was in the head. Okay, now I'm going to die. Okay, I definitely thought that was a shotgun there. Got him. A lucky shot, Tom. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. Man, I need some health. I see you. Found you. <clears throat> oh, come on. Where are they going to put me? Probably all the way back to right after I shot him and I killed those other three guys. Three or four.
Yep. And I wasted a lot more bullets trying to kill these guys, too. before. That's okay, just set himself on fire. Take it cover. I have his attention. Oh. Oh, I thought he went right there, and then he was over there on the left. Yeah. Got him. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. How am I supposed to trust you? Just like Frank. You'll be smart enough to stay gone, right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. What <laughs> a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family. Christ. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. What I do know is I can't trust him. We sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. We
I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gotta eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Epilogue, 1951. A long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because Everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone. Trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness. But it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo.
Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. All right, so now my thoughts on the game. I thought the game was really good. What they did with the story was good, but I think they could have taken it a bit deeper and dove a little bit more into Tommy's relationship with Sarah and also his relationship with Polly and Sam outside of work. I felt like the game just focused on Tommy's work for Salieri, and yes, that's supposed to be a big part of it, but going into more things could have given the player a better insight into how Tommy felt about the work and his life and allowed the player to better connect with Tommy. The story was definitely shorter than I expected. I also expected the game to be more of a traditional open world where you can explore and then that doesn't really happen. It's one mission straight into another. It's very linear. The graphics were really good. And that was expected with this being a full remake instead of a remaster. The game froze up on me a couple of times. At first it was because my controller was disconnecting from my computer, but then it became something else. I'm not really sure. It was weird. The ones that weren't caused by my controller required me to open task manager to minimize the game and then bring it back up. And that ended up fixing it. The driving felt very good, and yes, I know I complained multiple times and said it felt terrible, but that is also how I envision these cars driving back then, so it felt very real. AI. The AI was pretty good, at least when they were attacking you. They would move around and try to attack you rather than just sit behind cover and shoot at you. They felt alive and intelligent. There was a couple of times I noticed that some of the AI would be positioned differently after I died and had to redo a checkpoint. The cover system wasn't great, but I've yet to play a game that has a great cover system. Sometimes it was hard to get cover behind the object you wanted or the side you wanted. It would sometimes like snap you somewhere else or to something else. I did like that some things that you could take cover behind could be destroyed. That was pretty cool. There were some issues with jumping over walls or other objects or going through doors. It wouldn't always register that button press and then translate in that into the action or there'd be a weird delay. And then also sometimes doors wouldn't always open or have the button to open it. There was one time in episode three where I was on the roof and there was a door there but there was no icon on it. And I even walked over to the door and it didn't pop up at first. So I didn't know what I was doing. The transition between walking to and opening a door could have been better. Other than that though, the controls weren't too bad and the mapping of them made sense. I didn't really know how to use grenades or molotovs for like 90% of the game, but that was weird because the game taught me how to do that in episode one. Not really sure what that was about. The checkpoint system I felt wasn't great. There was times that where I felt you had to go back too far. There seemed to be natural opportunities for checkpoints that just were missed. The one that drove me the most insane was in a trip to the country where you were in the barn waiting for Polly to bring the truck. There was even a cutscene in the middle of that action sequence 
but no checkpoint. But I also felt like the hotel and church sequence could have been a bit better with checkpoints. Also, on a trip to the country, the AI that were helping you, they had a tendency to just stay in one spot. This was most noticeable in the section right after Sam gets shot before you're in the barn. The AI attacking were moving around a little bit, but the AI on the player side just wanted to sit, sit behind that first fence and didn't really do anything to better attack. And I even made a comment about that. I was playing and I was like, move up on them, like go around the side. There was multiple occasions where cars just popped in randomly, which is a bit annoying. That really shouldn't be happening in a game nowadays. In the restaurants sequence with Salieri, after that cutscene, I was set up by the game outside of cover and taking damage, which is not ideal. So on a positive note here to end this, the gun recoil, though, was a really nice touch. You couldn't just line up a shot and expect to hit your target as you kept shooting. You had to plan for that recoil and either go back and cover and aim again or adjust your aiming on the fly. The more you shot, the more the gun moved around. A lot of the negative things are just things that need a little tweaking on. They're not really big things. They didn't really take too much away from the game and the experience, but it felt important to mention because the game is now two years old, so it doesn't seem like the game is going to get the polishing it needs to fix these minor issues. I really enjoyed the game, and I do plan on playing Mafia 2 at some point. I have the original and the remastered version. I probably am going to plan on playing the remastered definitive edition version. But if you think the original is better, then definitely drop a comment to let me know you'd like me to play that version instead. But that's going to do it for this series of Mafia definitive edition. If you enjoyed it, then leave a like. Thanks for watching, and until next time, so long everybody.